guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is elsie godwin and this is reviews on the couch on reviews on the couch we discuss movies how they made us feel and lessons we can pick from them <laughs> On this episode, we're discussing a 2021 dark comedy Oscar-nominated movie titled The White Tiger. Directed by Ramin Barani, the film stars Priyanka Chopra, Rai Kumar Rao and Adash Gurav in his first leading role. The White Tiger was produced by Muko Diora and Ramin Barani and executive produced by Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Prema Karu and Eva Duvenier. The film is an adaptation of Aravind Adiga's novel of the same title. The White Tiger narrates an underdog story who became a driver for a rich Indian family and uses his wit and very interesting ways to escape from poverty, rising to the top as an entrepreneur. It was released globally on the 22nd of January 2021 on Netflix. If you're yet to see it, then this is the right time to pick up your device and watch The White Tiger on Netflix. Wilfred Okiche and Rachel M.M. Isong will be joining me virtually to discuss The White Tiger. Wilfred Okiche is an internationally recognized film reviewer and critic whose works have been featured on various international platforms. And Rachel is a TV presenter, an actor, and a movie buff. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on Reviews on the Couch. Um, like I said, I have Wilfred and I have Rachel thank with me. Thank you for having um, us. Wilfred, thank you for your time. Wilfred, like I said, is an international movie reviewer and he has trained a lot of people on this path and um, he's in the abroad. I, I, I believe you can see it from his ambience as well. So right now we are trying to... We're trying to look at some of the Oscar nominated movies that we that are available on Netflix. And the one that is on our radar today is The White Tiger. Okay. The White Tiger, I liked the feeling I got when I watched it. Although mixed, but I'm not going to start with the mixed feeling. So let me start with Wilfred. Wilfred, when you saw it, how did you feel about the movie The White Tiger? I, I enjoyed it. It's, it's a very enjoyable film, like you said. Um, it's very, it's fast paced. Um, it's a very relatable story um you know the whole case system in india and um extreme poverty is something that we can relate to. i think before nigeria india used to be the country with the um greatest amount of extreme poverty i think i'm not quite sure well you know nigeria has overtaken them and it looks like nigeria will be that will hold that record for a long time going by what is happening so um yeah it was it's something that you know you can you don't have to come from india to relate to i i i think they were intentional in making it you know an indian film but one that can travel and for an international audience and i think that worked um very well the first impression I got of the movie within, I say, about 30 minutes of seeing the movie was um, a sequel to Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> I just felt like I was seeing Slumdog Millionaire again. You know, grass to great story, someone who grew up from poverty to becoming an entrepreneur and then narrating how it happened. The only difference is that Slumdog Millionaire just made us go through that who wants to be a millionaire setting. But this one he narrated it showed us pictures gave us like um what was it mental images and meant he took us on that mental experience with him that's what i would say the difference is well for the story not bad but it could have been better now the thing is the reason i'm not going to say it's bad bad or it's good good is because i have not seen the book so i cannot judge if it was better than the book or it was book, or no as that's the book rather so i would have to see the book to know if it was badly written or if it was very well written if i can say that the story is good good or it's bad bad but it's a relatable story just as wilfred said it could have been better i still maintain that the story could have been better i had a lot of questions after seeing the movie the way it ended i was like okay so did he meet him did he not meet him did he accomplish what he was going to accomplish so I had questions when the movie started he said to us that his goal would be to meet this person you had an opportunity with this person 
Did you meet him? I mean, that's the whole essence of seeing this movie. First place. Then other than that, I like that for the first time in a very long time. We're seeing a Bollywood movie without dancing and singing. People are not jumping around. They are not blinding our eyes with their very loud costumes, very loud colors. It was very relatable. It was very believable. The actor is one that is going to blow. Like, literally, I, I look forward to seeing him in other movies because he was so natural and so he was so beautiful to watch like he was a sweet actor that every time i saw him on my screen i was just like i just love this guy he had this smirk in some scenes he had relatable expressions very good expressions that i think would go far in the industry even hollywood said not just bollywood now so story fantastic acting fantastic priyanka was a beauty to behold as always yeah Priyanka story, was Priyanka, though. but it's let me come in here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 ah, she was, she was um, so, she was, okay. She was so sweet. Yeah, so that's the feeling the movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's forget about the fact that. Let's forget about the fact that there was a book for a second. I know it's an adaptation of a book, right? Yeah, let's just forget that for a minute and just look at this movie as yeah. a movie. Let's just think about it that a group of people or somebody came out to have this concept and story. I think the idea of um, telling you what he wrote in the letter to the said big entrepreneur coming from America is what the concept is. The concept wasn't to show you yeah. what yeah. Um, he and mm -hmm. the um businessman would discuss because at the end of it all we saw that he met the guy even though the reception wasn't um very good um he had the opportunity and he was able to say oh i all am that. so passionate yeah. and you could see the reaction in the american business man's face and in my mind i'm wondering did this american businessman actually have time to read his whole story of how he started from grass um, to grace or how he killed somebody yeah. that reaction to come on his face however um um i also i'm also being careful when i call this a grass to grace story not because it's not his own grass to grace story but because of the morals in the book and or in the story and how he had to kill someone they had to in, in fact the wife of um, um his yeah. mother killed someone and they covered it up. It. They also tried to cover it up for the 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 son of the rich man, and then it, the whole thing fell apart. So I I don't think it's a a a, a movie you would want someone to watch if you're trying to let the person understand that you can grow in ranks of being an entrepreneur without trying to for do the crime. story. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, Wilfred. Yeah, yeah, but I, I hear you. I you know, you. and that's fine. But but I feel like that not the point of the movie the point of the movie i think is to critique you know capitalism and um in some way and um you know greed you know and that whole inequality let's put it that way you know that is rampant um running in in, um, in india it, it like it shares some things you know with parasite from last year even though parasite is a much much better and did it more eloquently um, but but it's like the world is unfair, and you know rich people will always do shit and and still step on people's necks that they are better than, and you have to claw your way through. So it's like there's no there's no angels, there's no yeah. demons. You know, it's what is the system? It's what capitalism has created, yeah. or that the world is inequal. So rich people will always take advantage of you, and we saw that how they you know, supposedly the good guy that was his boss, you know, they ran over someone and they had no com um, compulsion about, you know, letting him take the fall for it. They were, they slept well, you know, after that. These were people that are, you know, good people. And it happens all the time, you know, in, in real life. You know, we see that, you know, so many times. So many times. And then for him, by the time he, he thought, you know, he was going to do, if you do the right thing, like they tell us when we're small, do the right thing, read your book, you are going to blow, you are going to, and he's been doing that all along, but he saw that that's not, that's only going to keep him poor and in his place. Also, if you've seen um, the other one, the Netflix film, I Care A Lot, you know, it's going to, the system is structured to keep you in your place. So if you want to break out, 
is ugly that you have to do it through maybe sometimes immoral means or through you know but yeah. it is what it is you know so it's not like it's yes. celebrating yes. it i think yeah. it's, it's, it's more like yeah. critiquing that this is the light this is what we have done to ourselves so are you saying that for me to blow in this life now and make it i need to do something really terrible is that i My go dear. take care a lot way or i go to the, the white tiger way Elsie, Elsie, is that what we're saying answer, now to answer this question Elsie, mm -hmm. no that's that the point we're trying to make the point that we're trying to make is that there's an ugly part in every story i'm telling you every movie you see every good movie with every story there's always that part that would get you to cringe a little bit. Yes, you would have to do something at some point. Maybe not kill someone, maybe cheat someone, maybe take snatch someone, maybe do something you're not supposed to do. That just never comes up because there's that part that the society would criticize at the end of the day. And I care a lot. She got to the point where she looked and say, if this woman, if I have to do anything to this woman, if she has to punch me for them to see, if I have to be a bad person to get this particular client's um, account, please let me get it. It has to happen. You, it would always have to happen. But the, the thing now is, in some movies, they try to prove to us that the bad guy is always dying. Because they always have, like, he care, he care a lot. She didn't have to die. There are people who do worse than get away with it in real life. In White Tiger mm -hmm. Self, even this other guy that um, had to frame this, the, the, the main actor, he had to die. I think that was weird because all of us felt so bad when they cheated this guy and made him feel like the killer, the person who hit the, the young the, the girl that died. But at the end of the day, they now try to justify that act by making this guy kill him, of which I think it's so unnecessary. In fact, that's another part of the story that I had a big day with. I'm like, okay, like, really. No but anyway, I, I hear you. So now, I hear you. So what you're trying to say is that we need to begin to get comfortable with the fact that the world is really ugly. And if you're going to be at the top, somehow, somehow, you might have to be in, uh, um, you, you might have yes. to be involved in something shady. Maybe not as bad as killing someone, but maybe as yeah. subtle as not caring about the next person and thinking mm -hmm. of your own way to the top of your career. I don't know, right? That's why they say capitalism has failed, you know, because it seems to have created more equality every day. The equality gap is widening, you know, but they keep saying, you know, this is the best, you know, form of, you know, of running the, your economy, you know, you do this, you do this, you do that, you sell, you buy, you read, whatever, you will get this result. But every day, it's not, it's not shown. The rich seem to be getting richer. In America, they said, like, the two richest men own more than 40%, you know, the, than the rest of the country you know does one man really need all that money how much money do you need to, so to, to survive and when and when you make it you know how do you ensure it goes down or are you even making sure it, it goes down so it, it's a very gray um victim um do they have the responsibility to make sure it goes around exactly exactly you know so i'm responsible you know that you're also supporting yeah. the movie you know i'm responsible for myself since they are not responsible for that i'm so i'm going to claw i'm going to you know well i don't think he needed to kill but but also it, it brings us to another you know point that the movie makes do you have to kill you know literally crawl out of poverty and that's what the Indian caste system or caste system seems to be suggesting that you are going to remain in that your place that you were born, no matter, and you literally have to kill someone. So I think it's more of a critique of that case, that whole case system where you are born, and it, it doesn't. So it doesn't go um, in depth into it or talking about it. It mentions it, but it doesn't explain why you know that has to be the the outcome. But 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 if you read more about the case system in India, more is like mm -hmm. you are here, you are here. Oh, forget about it. You know that wow. that's your lot in life. You know if, yeah, if in mm. the film there's the part where he said all oh, their servants are high born or something. I don't know if you remember. So yeah. it's like if you are born to be a servant, you are going to die. And, and so the guy saw that his life. It doesn't matter how loyal he is. It doesn't matter how great a driver he is. 
when that guy ran his life to, um, his life trajectory for him, you know how it would be. He was he was so good. Mm. He was so good a servant that it was annoying. Like when they are insulting this guy and treating him in a way like, yes, sir, no, sir, I love you. I'm taking the form of you. Yes, like, yes, what yes. is wrong with and this? And he's not loyal, loyal to a fault. Yeah, and all that loyalty gets you what? He was loyal to a fault. You know, they frame you when they, when they kill someone. You know, treat you like trash. Even the, the good people were completely, were treating him like trash just in a nice way. You know, in a nicer way than the others. You guys, a question. I'm not on the host of the show. Legit, legit. Elsie, you're going out with your bobo, and maybe with your friend. Let's not do a servant now. Maybe with a friend who is not a friend. Maybe someone who's not as wealthy, or someone who's not as well well to do as you and your spouse. And you guys are going out, and maybe you hit the car. You hit someone, and the person dies. Or what would you do? Nigeria. Let's Let's imagine you're in Nigeria. What would you really? This Nigeria that even when you just see someone and you have proof that you saw them die, you would you could go to jail for it. What would you do? First of Let's all, your question girl. is removed. Talking about morals. No, no, Let's hold on now. Let me respond. What you do to make us proud? First of all, your question <laughs> and scenario <laughs> is removed. <clears throat> it's removed from my reality because one, I don't have a boyfriend to start with. <laughs> Two, what else did you say that we have for? That we'll be going and we'll kiss somebody. Right. Maybe not kiss somebody, honestly. Dad. But at the end of the day, it's still a murder case. And you have to pay you have to pay for it. But with jail, jail time or you're paying with your life, it depends on who um, is at fault and what the investigation uh, um, brings to bear. Do you understand? So if for example this you're driving on a zebra crossing and somebody's on it and you kill the person that one i don't think anybody can save you but if for example you are driving on an express that that's got a pedestrian crossing for people to pass like the high pedestrian crossing and then someone runs into the front of your car and something happens i mean there you've got a high chance of being able to come out of that and what you what, what is left for you to battle will be the battle between your conscience and trying to also compensate the family if you can to say um this is the situation of things and this is how it is but may we not find ourselves in a situation where we kill somebody but look, rachel what you're doing now mm. is speaking on the one that you can easily say okay as a human being you probably do not have a choice what of the one where he actually drove the master to an area that is secluded and dark and rainy and stab him to death what was the reason for that because from the storyline and what we saw it's clear that he could have stole that money run away and they will still so, not catch him because according to him they all look alike and it's difficult to catch anybody when you say they are wanted so if they couldn't uh, um, intensify pressure to catch him as a murderer why do you think they will be able to intensify pressure to catch him as a thief so why not just take the money and run away instead of killing the man in the process? That's my problem. The thing is, that particular scene was the beginning of the problem I, I had with the movie. I don't understand how believable it is that a rich man would get out of a vehicle not anything could happen. Knowing that he had a bad field with no, him, that's he possible. comes out in the rain when he had a phone and could have easily made it that that's that's this that's pretty really possible, possible rachel nah, it's not possible no no that. hold on hold on let me explain to you no, <laughs> remember possible. that right. the master and this servant have grown something you can call a friendship they are not the um. typical of their father and their mother and what they do he and priyanka chopra that's the character she was playing and um, were the easygoing people who wanted mm -hmm. to see this guy do well. Even Priyanka went as far as teaching him to take care of his body, for him to read more and maybe educate himself to be more. So that was the kind of mindset they had. I remember Priyanka had left. So at that point, um, he took care of him, fed him. Um, they hung out together. So if you tell him to come down to say, oh, we have to fix the tire together, I don't see any reason why anybody would not want to do that with the servant in question i i don't know how i would like who i would liken him to in the business world of today your car breaks down you cannot fix the car i am not a mechanic or vulcanizer to fix tires or anything 
No phone call, you mama make. I'll make a phone call. Baba, enter car, make me come. Because that is you. No, 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 because that is you. There are people who would come down to do it. No, I'm saying not that guy's character. That's what I'm saying that that's that movie. I started having questions about okay, what's the possibility of this happening? This guy knew he had so much money in the car. That alone is enough reason for him not to get down from the car. Yeah, but he's been in the car yeah, with money many, many times. Okay. He's dead, dead. What about the fact that he could lose his life? Not I mean, he's been with the car. I, I, I don't think he had any reason to be that paranoid. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. I'm with LC on this one. He's, you know, he's been with that guy in the car with, with money plenty of times before. You know, you learn to trust your drivers, you know, at some point. Or we have no choice. But to trust our drivers, you know, that's to say song. They say you can't trust anybody, but you have to trust someone. You know, that's how life is. So uh, if you, and he's this guy, the young boy, he's liberal. He's a young boy, boy, he's liberal. He's friendly, he's Americanized. I don't think it's a stretch for him to, you know, I think it's part I, of a lot of people, a lot of people actually trust their drivers. Like, to an extent yeah. that you cannot imagine. Yeah. The relationship between the drivers like and their bosses, even in Nigeria here, is quite interesting. Like, I, can, I, I, I know of someone whose driver has been driving him now for 10 years. He knows the family, mm -hmm. he buys them provisions. They have this relationship. So there is nothing... In fact, there are I things the drivers know about him that his wife does not know about him. So that relationship is there, and I think both of them were able to go through that emotional roller coaster. Even when I they had that. an issue, they yeah. had an issue because he was worried about his wife leaving him, and why he had the audacity to drive the wife to the um, airport without letting him know. But they got past that. They hung out together. They did a lot of things. They had fun together. So I think, I mean, and for guys, mm -hmm. they might say it's sexist, but I think that men have a way of handling things as well, different from the way women handle issues as well. So I think that also plays out in this story. But let's not dwell on that scene and that character. Let's look at I... the possibility of this movie um, winning an Oscar. All right, um, all right. Wilfred already said that Parasite is way better than um, um, The White Tiger. So Wilfred, do you think this movie, looking at um, the other movies it's up against, do you think it has the chance to win the Oscar for 2021? Um, well, uh, well, what I meant, I, I meant that Parasite handles those things, you know, more co uh, with more depth and more complexity. The same is similar to Eat the Rich, you know, Parasitic, who is Parasite, Parasitizing on who now? Is it the boss on the poor guy or is it the poor guy on the boss? Um, yes, so okay, also, also it's a very, you know, it's a much better made movie. But, but, but yeah, um, White Tiger has won one nomination in the, in the adapted screen play. That's the sole nomination. Um, but I, I think it's one of those things that are just, that are there, you know, happy to belong. You know, uh, we got a nomination. Yeah, that's probably all we can, we can look out of, we can look for. You know, because the other. So you don't think um, it will win? No, no, I don't think it, it stands almost zero chance of winning that that category because the other films they seem to have greater steam. You know, not necessarily because they are better, but you know how our work is in. Uh, you know, is the steam, the whole momentum, and you know everything. But but also there are films that I think are better, are much better adapted from their yeah, book source that are nominated. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So I said that, of course, they stand a chance. That's why the movie was nominated in the first place. Yeah, that's why it's in that category. But would they win? Nah. I've seen the movies, a lot of us nominated this year. And trust me, see, they're not even playing in the world right now with movies. Even last year when Parasite won, just as you said, Parasite was a movie that just had to win on different levels. Cinematography, storytelling, acting, believability. I mean, you could literally smell those guys from the screen because of the story was told. You could smell them like it was that bad. Yeah, and we didn't have any questions asked. It was a beautiful movie. 
it was beautiful in and out, no questions asked. But for us to still have questions that we are asking about Tiger, yeah, they did a good job, but I don't see them winning. I think it's going to end at nominations and probably mm. more jobs for the actors and the crew members, but that's about it. But we could be wrong, though. you never know. I'm wishing them all good luck. Being nominated, like you said, is an amazing deal already. So it's giving them the exposure. We are That's talking about way. White Tiger now because it was nominated. Because like I said, I watched it. I think I watched it at, on, on the week it was yes, released on Netflix. And this is March. So if it wasn't on the Oscars, we probably won't be talking about it. So it's a win for everyone. And I hope that it wins something. So finally, before sure, I let you sure. go, if there, yeah. if there are two things you would yeah. say you learned from that movie, just two, and make it brief, what would it be? Let's start with Rachel. Two things that you learned from the movie. Ah, two things that I learned from the movie. One is if you have to break out, you have to do you. Yes. Whether to do whatever you want to do just to break out. And the second thing that I learned, it made me go read more about White Tiger and then their caste or caste system in India. Basically, that's it. Number one, eat the rich. Eat the rich. Um, okay. Number two, the revolution is coming and just try so that you will not be on the, on the other side or on the receiving end. When we come to eat the rich. Ah, okay. For me, eh, I'm going to say from this conversation with you two, I'm, I'm going to learn the fact that I have to go and sit down, think about my life, think of the bad thing I will do to blow. And I agree within myself that being a good girl is not going to help my career. So I can move on, mm -hmm. right? Because these people are not these people are not helping my moral life. And the last one, yeah, Priyanka Chopra is a pretty woman. Ah! <laughs> So that's for her to be Miss World, I don't understand. She has to be pretty now. Ah, she's she's she's. I did so not impressed by Priyanka. No, 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 no. I, no, I, I love her. She's oh, pretty. Not it's not about being impressed. I got to know about her from what's the name of this series that is an action movie sort of Quantico. investigation series. Quantico. Yes, Quantico, and that is where my love for her started. I I didn't know her as a beauty queen or anything. I loved her action. I love her her emotion emotion emotions. I have, I love her acting and I love everything. And that is the Priyanka. That's the Priyanka I relate with and would always scream with Priyanka any day anytime. But in this movie, I don't think she she had the opportunity to do much. I think her character was all, also left the movie when I was beginning to hope. Oh, what is she going to do? And how is she going to do it? How is she going to come out of this? And then she just bailed and went to America, and that was the end of Priyanka in the movie. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I don't I don't think I saw enough of her in this movie. We are raving about her because it's Priyanka. We love her. It's just like Genevieve appearing in a Nollywood movie and just, she had like just powerful three scenes. Sin. We will be happy that Genevieve was on the on on the on the project. Nothing more, and I think that's what this movie is. But let it not. Don't let me start, start sounding like a Priyanka hater. I love her, and that's the truth. But anyway, thank you guys so much for doing this with me. I I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching if you are yet to see the white tiger then please check it out on netflix and come back to let us know what you think about our conversation what we missed what we could have added and what angle we could have taken a conversation from my name is elsie godwin thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the subscribe button video and also hitting the bell so you get notified each time there is a new content so like come your way again stay jiggy